about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. I know this video is gonna be a posting later than Christmas, but I'm filming this on, on Christmas day because we have a whole bunch of running around to do, not errands because everything is closed here in Canada, <laughs> except for like the Max convenience store, but uh, we are going to relatives today. So I'm gonna do my makeup. It's gonna be a very long day. Um, right now I'm looking at 1114 and we will be going straight till about eight o'clock tonight. So um, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna do makeup that will last all day. I will bring some products for touch-ups throughout the night because um, my makeup doesn't last that long. <laughs> so first thing is first, I'm going to apply a little bit of lip balm because uh, my lips are really dry right now. We actually have to be out of here by noon, so I'm going to try my best to hurry. Uh, first thing, I have been loving my House Labs foundation. But I think I want to go in with my Kosas foundation just for a little bit of a change. Actually, to be honest, I wouldn't mind mixing the two. Um, that's something I sometimes do. So maybe, let's try that actually. I'm going to mix the two. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And um, I've been finding that, I don't know if it's like my skin that's dry or something, but I have been finding that my skin seems to soak up a lot of product. So I do have it mixed on the back of my hand here. I'm going to put on some primer before I start, which I almost forgot. I'm using my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which has been my favorite. I was gonna go in with my blurring primer that I have, um, but uh, by Huda Beauty, I changed my mind last minute because <laughs> I'm a woman and I can change my mind and I'm pregnant, which I feel like gives me an extra excuse for some reason. Okay. So there we go. I will be using my brush to apply because I did not wet my sponge today. And um, I'm just going to dab it in the products. And you can see how red my face is compared to the product. It's quite red. So I'll blend this out. I am in a hurry, so I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can here. And um, I will be back after I'm done blending. Okay. I don't know why I'm going to go out of order here, but I'm going to do eyebrows first before I do concealer. So today I'm going to go for a different type of look. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wax and my Urban Decay Brow Blade with the liquid side this time um, to give my eyebrows a little bit more character than I usually do. Okay, guys, I gave myself some angry looking eyebrows because I feel like I need to have them a little like crazy today. I don't know why. It's like, I really like this technique. It makes them look so, it makes them have so much character. And um, this product I used is waterproof. Um, it is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I really, I really enjoy this product actually. Okay, so I feel like I took a bit of my foundation off. So I'm just gonna fix that up here. And I'm gonna leave my brows, I'm gonna let them dry a bit. <clears throat> and then what I do is I go back in with a brush and then just kind of soften them so it doesn't look so crazy because it looks a little crazy. Next step is concealer. So I am going to um, do the under eyes for sure, um, especially anywhere where I've got dark circles. I have not been sleeping well at all. Did I went to bed, I, think I went to bed at two in the morning last night for Christmas Eve. And I woke up at seven on the dot and I did the video that was posting today. That is my birth, um, what I'm taking to the hospital video. And uh, yeah, it's the first time I've actually shown my face on my main channel in a while, probably since last summer. And it was, it was an interesting experience. Let me tell you that. I'm going to take my concealer brush. I'll use this um, Rare Beauty one. And just kind of go over the areas where I added the concealer. I'm going to try to leave it as light as I potentially can. And one of my tricks, this is what I personally like to do. Number one, I love this Kosas concealer. It is like my favorite concealer right now. But if you kind of, you don't, don't blend it all the way out right at the beginning. Let it dry down a bit. And I find it provides better coverage that way. So just like that, then I can go back in with my foundation brush especially to blend between the brows I just bring the product up a bit on my forehead just between my brows because I really like it to be highlighted there blend my lip and my chin 
um, will blend up the nose a bit. I like that portion to look really bright and then we'll go in with some contour. Um, I'm gonna leave under the eyes for now. We'll use some contour first. I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D because I find that it's the most neutral shade for me. Um, I usually set my powder first with a setting powder, but I'm gonna go in with contour first. Totally doing things backwards today. Weird. I am applying this a little bit higher than I normally would. I'm gonna take a small brush and contour my nose. I'm going to put some right down here and then right above just so I can highlight the tip of my nose and you guys will see the, the look here in a minute. So I'm going to go back in with my powder brush, blend up my nose just a tiny bit because I feel like I really contoured that okay. and then I continue with my brush and just um, I just realized I forgot to blend this concealer out here. So I'll quickly go back into the eyes and, uh, oops, finish blending the eyes here. I'm gonna take my large powder brush and just blend out my cheeks and around the perimeter of my forehead here. And then we're gonna do a light dusting of powder all over the face. So I think what we'll do is go in with my Patrick Ta. I really enjoy the powder. Um, the foundation for me is a little too light. So I will be using the powder and probably just the foundation for certain times. I'm actually just going to add a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Plumping Lip Gloss in Pillow Talk to my lips. Um, just to get them plumped up a little bit here and add a little bit of color. To be completely honest, this might be the only color I use today, and I might put some lip liner on as well. But we'll do lip liner after. So next is blush. And of course, I'm going to go back to this one because I've just been obsessed with it lately. This is the one I got in my recent haul. It is the NARS Rising Stars Cheek Palette. Love it. Love, love, love it. I'm going to use... Um, which color do I want to use? I think I'm going to go back in with this one and maybe pick up a bit of these three here. All right, so we're gonna add a bit of highlighter now. I think I'm gonna go in with the gold. I don't know why, but I've been really been like enjoying gold lately. So we're gonna use my trusty highlighter brush and go into the gold color, um, tip of the nose, bridge of the nose just a tiny bit, between the brows, tiny bit, cheekbones, we can blend everything back out with a powder brush after. Chin, Cupid's bow. And then we'll add a light little dusting just to the brow bone here with a larger brush. Okay, so now I'm not sure about shadow. Um, I'm not really sure where I sit right now with that. Um, but before we do anything else, I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Spray just to set everything in place. Let that dry down. So I don't know about shadow yet. I haven't quite decided, but I am going to line my eyes. I'll do this off camera. I'm going in with my Blackest Night Glimmer Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm picking a waterproof one on purpose because I will be out all day and I really need my products to stay today. So um, we'll probably spray with setting spray multiple times. I'm going to use this waterproof eyeliner and hopefully it does not run anywhere. A trick to doing uh, no run eyeliner is to also line your lower lash line with powder or um, like a shadow that kind of matches or is also dark and then your liner won't like run down underneath your eye during like if it's a late night. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's go ahead and apply this first and I'll be right back. I'm going to start out with a like I think I'll do 
I don't really want to do a color. I think I might do like a bronze color, like a dark brownish bronze um, along the lower lash line. And then I want to slowly kind of um, blend everything out with a gold color, but not like a bright yellow gold like I had the previous date night, but more like more like a champagne gold, but a darker color. Okay, guys, I think I found something that might work. I'm going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the regular one by Morphe. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Rose Metals palette. So I was looking at the Rose Metals palette, and I think this one might work for the lower lash line. It's kind of like this weird um, shade. So I'm going to go into the pencil brush and dip my brush into it. It is sparkly. The brush off and just push this into the lashes. Okay, so it's really dark, but we will try to blend it out a little bit. And I think that's all I want to go in with that color because I don't want it to be uh, too warm of a look. And I'm even a little reluctant to use any of these shades because I don't want it to be a bronze look. I want it to definitely be more neutral. So I haven't quite decided what I want to do here. I honestly think my best uh, goal here at the moment is to go in with an actual contour palette to do some shading. So I'm going to go in with the lightest color. So again, this is from my contour palette for Kat Von D. Go into the lightest color and just dip this into the, the crease here. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the deepest shade. And then I'm going to go into that same color I used in the lower lash line. Um, the color is Nova too, by the way. Okay, so go into Nova. With the same brush, tap it off and just see what this looks like on the outside corner. Kind of blending it into the crease as I go. I feel like it's kind of giving me this smoky vibe, which I'm kind of into right now. So now I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend above so that it doesn't really travel because that's one my one pet peeve with shadows is that um, throughout the night it just kind of travels up towards your eyebrow and I hate that so we're going to blend it out um, add a little bit more color darken things up on the outer corner and then I might just dip my finger into the shade called haze here and dab it on the inside part <clears throat> okay I think that's it for the eyes so I'm going to grab a makeup wipe clean off my hands now I'm going to line the upper lash line and put on some mascara. I struggled a little bit with this one and I was getting lots of like shadow and particles under my eyes. So I just went back in with my foundation brush and just kind of like touched up under the eyes. And um, I think I think that's good. As for lips, I think I want to keep it really simple and um, a little bright today. So instead of putting that uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip plumbing polish on, you can see it leaves a little bit of color. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to do a little trick. So... Uh, this is something that if you want your lips to look really pale, like in comparison to your makeup, simply take a little bit of foundation or concealer and then just um, you can wipe out the color. So I'm just going to use my finger and put a little concealer on. And it'll mute out the color of your lips so that they're a lot more pale. And then I'm going to put on a light lip gloss. So I think I'm going to use the, I'm not sure if I want a sparkly one today. I think I'm gonna use the shade Samantha by it's Bucks and Plumping Lip Polish. And then I'm just gonna take my finger so I don't have too much lip gloss on. I'm just gonna like tap it off. And just like so, so that it is, it kind of blends into the lip and it doesn't look too much. And I think that's it. The last step is to add some inner corner highlight, which I haven't done yet. I will be using my Mary Lou, so it is not the gold, but uh, I feel like it's gonna brighten a bit better. So I'm gonna go in with a teeny tiny little brush and just pop that on the inner corner. Okay guys, I think that is it for this look. I'm gonna give my face one more uh, spritz of setting spray. And I'm gonna still stay with my uh, Stay Over Mac Fix Plus because I feel like it does have a little bit more staying power. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry and I think we are all done. So this is going to be my Christmas makeup look. I've really been into like the darker eyes with the lashes. Um, kind of makes your eyes just, I don't know, 
it just makes them a little bit more mysterious. I really like the, the glowing skin, the blush, and uh, neutral lips. It's kind of what I've been into lately. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Click on the bell button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.